Well, regarding research, um, there are like a three parts to what we do. In the first part is uh, one of the most interesting ones because it's about the creation. It's when you have an idea and then you try to design the experiment that will allow you to prove whether your ideas were correct or not. And um, on the second part, we go to the um, observatories in order to gather those data. And in my point of view, this is the best time to be an, um, an astronomer. Um, on the one hand, because you have a unique opportunity to spend time alone on the top of the mountain, and um, uh, there's nothing like after you have already organized your day and you're about to start observations in that um, magical moment of the day when the, um, the sun is about to set and you enjoy this moment of peace uh, looking at the sunset you're very much on your own and then as the twilight sets in you just go back to the observatory open the dome just put some uh, jazz on the radio cup of coffee and start working and then the third part is once that you have the data and bring it to the university and then you have to analyze the data and uh, finally interpret whether uh, the data will actually corroborate uh, your ideas or they will contradict your ideas. And um, sometimes they will confirm what you thought and that is a great feeling because you feel that you have uh, contributed to the advancement of a particular uh, field in astronomy sometimes it will contradict it and even though it may be a little bit of a bummer but um but you also have contributed to the knowledge even if it is a negative answer and some of the times that can also be very interesting uh, you discover something that you had not planned and um, it opens up a new door and then you start thinking about how to uh, continue the project in a completely different new way so that's basically I work on very distant galaxies and um, it's galaxies like our own, the Milky Way, hosting um, hundreds of billions of stars but they're very far away and because they're very far away that means that the light has taken a long time to reach us and by the time that we're looking at those galaxies we see them not as they are today but as they were at a very early epoch in the history of the universe. And um, what we already know is that those galaxies look very different to the ones that surround our Milky Way in the current epoch of the universe. And we try to understand uh, how they have evolved from how they were um, about um, 12 billion years ago compared to how they are today. And that's what I'm working in collaboration with uh, graduate students and postdocs. Um, well, I do have a moment that I can trace back when I was a little kid and um, when I became interested in looking at the sky and it was when I was um, very young, just a little kid and I heard about the Lluvia de Estrellas, it's like the um, uh, rain of stars and, um, and they told me that I could see the stars moving and coming down to, to Earth so I stayed till very late that night and, um, and looked through the window and looked and looked and nothing happened. So I sort of felt a little bit, um, um, well, disenchanted that nothing really happened according to what I thought it would happen. But at the same time, I started enjoying uh, the pleasure of uh, observing the skies. And, um, and after that, uh, when I was growing up uh, and getting interested into philosophy, well, we all got into the famous questions of um, what is our role here, how the universe came to be the way that it is, and, um, and I decided to pursue the career in astronomy. I had a year in which um, I decided to, um, to leave every sense of normality in my life, and I joined the band and it was a great year. Uh, I was playing the keyboards uh, together with my, with my, um, my buddies. And we had four shows, um, but even better than the shows that we had in little villages across uh, Andalusia in the southern Spain, it was the, um, <coughs> the rehearsals. We would go at about 3 p.m. just at the bottom one of these buildings, at the very end of it, and stay playing till it was pitch dark, close sometimes to midnight. And time definitely is relative. It flew away, and I have the very best feelings, such the best memories of that, of those years, of those moments. <laughs> well, for those well, do that you have can free time? enjoy free time, um, 
Um, I don't, but I always wanted uh, to play jazz, uh, that's my dream, uh, particularly the um, guitar. Even though I love piano too, but um, I could give half my career in astronomy in order to be a, a jazz musician, and again, just simply for the fun of playing with another, with a group of buddies actually and make some music out of it.